Hello everyone, I am Bhuneshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Bharadiyar Arts and Science College for Women, Devia Kuruchi. Today, now we discuss about the topic is Special Diodes in Basic Electronics. First of all, we know about the diodes. Diode is an electrical component that allows the current in only one direction. When this junction is forward biased, the electron can easily move across the junction to fill in the holes and the current is flow through the diodes. Next, we discuss about the light emitting diode that is LED. It is a, one of the type of special diodes. The LED is a diode that gives the off visible light source when this is forward biased. The LED is not made from silicon and germanium but only made up of gallium, arsenic and phosphorus. By varying the quantities of these elements, it is possible to produce the light of different wavelength with the colors like green, yellow, red and blue. For example, when a LED is made using the gallium arsenide it produces a red color light next a led is made with gallium phosphide it produces the lattice green color light next the theory of led the led is a forward biased the electrons this is the uh, led diagrams first of all the electron this is the p junction and this is the n junction the electrons are presented in the P, uh, N junction and then holes are presented in the P junction. That's the electrons can easily move across the junction and uh, recombine with the holes. Recombine with the holes and uh, recall the free electrons are in the conduction band and uh, it will higher energy level than the holes in the valence band. Next one, when the electrons and the holes are recombined with it takes place the Electrons release some energies in the form of heat and light. Then germanium and silicon diodes almost enter the energy in the form of heat and light. Next, first the gallium arsenide, the number of photons of light energy is sufficient to produce the quite intense visible light. See this diagram, the arrow is pointing out that the away from the diode, the indicating that the light is emitting by the device when this is forward biased. The LED is available for several colors. The schematic symbol is the same for all LEDs. There is nothing in the symbol to indicate the color of a particular LED. Next, the graph, see this graph. The graph is drawn between the forward current and the output light or radiated light. First of all, the forward current is taken in the x-axis and then output light is taken in the y-axis. It is clear from the graph that the intensity of radiated light is directly proportional to the forward current. The voltage and current of LED we see the diagram, the Vs is the input voltage and the Rs is the input resistor and then V is the LED. Then the forward voltage of rating from 1 voltage to 3 voltage and then forward current of rating from 20 milliampere to 100 milliampere. The current through the LEDs, the LED does not exceed the safe value and then RS is connected in the series connection. So the Vs is the input voltage already I told that and then VD is the voltage across LED then voltage across the RS is, is equal to Vs minus VD. So the current and voltage of LED of the equation is given by the circuit is IF is equal to Vs minus Vd divided by Rs. Next, next the advantages of LED. What is the advantages are available in the LED? The LED is a solid state source. Then 
it has low voltage level and then longer life that means the more than 20 years then fast on and off switching devices then protecting led against reverse bias it's a low reverse voltage it has low reverse voltage and then example for led have a maximum reverse voltage of 3 voltage it means that a reverse voltage v is greater than 3 voltage it is applied the led the led may be destroyed okay the led is connect a rectifier what is the meaning of rectifier it converted to ac signal into the dc signal so the rectifier diode is connected in the parallel manner see this diagram next we discuss multicolor leds the led emits one color when this is forward bias and another color this is reverse bias this is called the multicolor led it contains two pn junctions are available and it is connected to reverse and parallel manner then next the they are in parallel with anode of one connected to the cathode of other the positive potential is applied to the pn junction it emits the light in the left side then negative potential is applied to the pn junction then it will emit the light in right side then next the red color light is mentioned that the bias on one direction and then green color is mentioned that the bias in another direction the switch is fast enough between the two polarities the to produce the yellow that is third color next the applications of leds the lot of applications are available in the led first one is it is a low power device next the power rating is the order of mentioned that the unit is milliwatt the two applications are available in this led first one as a power indicator next one the seven segment display the power indicator means the power is on or not situation so the when the switch is closed the power is applied to the load so at that time the current i is also flows through the led which lines indicating the power is on state so the resistor rs is connected in the series manner within the led that rating of the led is not exceeded next next we discuss about the tunnel diode it is one of the second type of the special diodes the pn junction that exhibits the negative resistance in between the two values of forward voltage then next the conventional diode what is the meaning of conventional diode the conventional diode means the it allows the large number of currents when the forward voltage above this threshold voltage in this circuit so the conventional diode exhibits the positive resistance when it is forward biased or reverse biased the semiconductor junction what is the meaning of semiconductor the semiconductor is referred by the uh, electrical conductive material somewhere that in the uh, conductor or insulator so the semiconductor junction diode is heavily doped with impurities it exhibits a negative resistance in certain region in forward direction then tunnel diode the pn junction with heavily doping the p type and the n type semiconductor materials next the tunnel diode is doped approximately the thousand times as heavily as a conventional diode the heavily doping results in a large number of majority carriers the large number of carriers most are not during the initial recombination that produces the depletion layer as a result the depletion layer is very narrow in comparison with the conventional diode and the depletion layer of tunnel diode is 100 times narrower next applications the voltage clamping and clipping circuits then reverse current and discharge protection then rectify the high frequency signal then low power ttl transistor transistor logic circuits ttl logics as a switching devices next 
the pin diode. Pin means positive intrinsic negative diode. The pin diode, it is, it, is, it is the diagram of pin diode. The pin diode, it consists of a heavily doped P and N region separated by a wide intrinsic region. Next. The intrinsic region offers the high resistance to the current through it. The wide intrinsic region makes the pin diode and interior rectifier then Therefore, attenuators, fast switches and photo detectors and high voltage power electronic applications. The pin diode works as an ordinary PN junction diode. The frequencies up to a range is in 100 MHz. Above the 100 MHz, it sizes operations of rectifier and it begins as a switches or resistance. In reverse bias, it acts as a capacitor. Next. Construction, see this construction of pin diodes. The top of this diagram is the material is contact to the top and then it is the positive contact region and it is mentioned that the P diffusion and then this gap is mentioned that the intrinsic region and then the green color is mentioned that the N type and this will mention that the contact region N positive then bottom of this metal contact. Next we discuss the biasing of pin diode. It has available for three biasing. One is unbiased, second one is forward biased, third one is reverse biased. First one is unbiased. When the pin is unbiased there is a diffusion of electrons across the junction. The depletion region is formed in between PI and IN regions with more penetration in intrinsic region. Next one the forward bias. The forward bias in the pin diode is forward bias. The diode behaves as a variable resistance and the resistance decreases with increase in the forward bias voltage. This is the diagram for variable resistor. One terminal is anode and another terminal is cathode. Next one. Reverse bias. As the diode is in present in the reverse bias voltage, so the reverse bias voltage is increases the depletion layer of thickness is also increasing. So the device begins as a variable capacitor until the intrinsic region becomes free of mobile carriers. So this voltage is called swept up voltage. At this voltage the device works as a constant capacitor. See this diagram of capacitor. One terminal is anode and another terminal is cathode. Next, applications. It has a lot of applications are available in this pin diode. One is RF. RF means radio frequency. The RF and DC controlled microwave switches. Then RF and variable attenuator in limiter circuits. Then photo detector and photovoltaic cell. Then RF modulator circuits. Are you understand this special diode topics? Okay, we will meet with next topic. Thank you to all.